All right, so in this problem, you have a uh, rectangular prism and you have some cost of different materials depending on the side. Um, you have a given information here, the length is equal to twice the width. So if your width is equal to W, then your length is gonna be two W, right? Okay, so, but the height, we still don't have an, a, an information for the height, so we need to solve for that first. Okay, so you know that the volume is equal to, and let me change this. So the, the volume is equal to length times width times height. While your length in ter terms of W is 2W, your, your width is W, and your height is just height. Uh, but your volume is 10. So now simplifying this, you have 2W squared over H equals 10. Solving for H so that we have a you have an expression for height in terms of W. You divide 2W squared on both ends. So therefore, your H is equal to 5 over W squared. The 10 and the 2 will cancel out. So this is 5 over W squared. Okay. Now you want in here, it says find the function of the cost. Okay. So remember the cost, the cost that's equal to um, the area times the cost per SQM, right? Okay. In fact, for the base, you have $5 per SQM. And in the sides, you have $3 per SQM. So now let's look at, let's concentrate on the base. I'm going to use a different color each time. Okay, so this is for the base. All right, well, what is the area of the base? You have the 2W, so this is, uh, we're talking about uh, cost for base, cost base, okay? So the, the area, we're doing the area now, so area is 2W times W, because that's your base, and then there's only one base, and then the cost of this is $5 per SQM. So therefore the total cost for the base is two times W times five, which is 10 W squared. Okay, so now that we're done with the base, now you have how many sides? You have four sides. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be talking about this side right here first. And I'm gonna cost, call that cost uh, uh, sides, I guess, all right? All right, the cost of size. Well, we need to find the area of the sides. Well, the size is 5 w, five over W squared. That's the height. The width is W. That's one side, right? But you have two of them. So you have to multiply by two. And then the cost of area per side is three. All right, so I hope you're caught of following. This one right here is one side. You multiply by two to make two sides. So that's the total area of the two sides, okay? And then you multiply of for uh, multiply with the cost per side, uh, per SQM in the side, okay? So now this W will cancel with one of these W, five times two times three, that's 30 over W, okay? All right, so that's that. And then we have the front and the back, okay? So the front, this is cost of front and back. All right, well, the front back dimension area is uh, five over W squared because that's this is Front, 5 over W squared is the height times the length right here times 2W. And the, that's the front. While well, you have the back, which is the same dimension, you multiply by 2. And then the cost, this is also a side cost. So that's going to be 3. All right, so let's recap. This is this area of 1. You multiply by 2 to cover the back. And then you multiply by the cost. So that's going to be this W will cancel out with one of the other W. So 5 times 2 is 10 times 6 is 30. So this is 30 over W. Okay, so cost of base and cost of the to four sides. So therefore, total cost, okay, which is I'm going to call this C, and this is a function of the C, that's cost, function of W, because we're solving it in terms of W, will be the cost of the base, then W squared, this one right here, plus the cost of the two sides, 30 over W, plus the cost of the front, uh, five. This is 10. That should be, this one should be 60. Oops. All right. Um, and then this is 60 over W. And so therefore your cost in terms of the width is uh, 10 W squared plus 90 over W. All right, so that is the function of your um, cost.
uh, this is the cost in terms of W. Thank you.